Hey everybody, welcome to GDPG. My name's Nathan, or Intangible. My name's Cujo, or Cujo. All right, some schmuck I found on the side of the road. Yeah. All right, so uh, we're going to be doing this episode a little bit different and any uh, reoccurring episodes after that. Uh, instead of just doing, talking about game design in a nebulous sense, we're actually going to be talking specifically about competitive game design and competitive game theory. Also, yeah. we're going to sort of approach this uh, to target the, the casual gamer who might be interested in getting into a fighting game franchise like Street Fighter so that you kind of understand some of the... Uh, the do's and don'ts and the terminology and such like that. All the Just nuances, before. all that yeah. terminology, big one. Uh, yes. So yeah, we're gonna, you know, hopefully by the end of this, you'll have a new appreciation for fighting games if you didn't already have it. If you're veteran players, then you might not get much out of this video. In fact, uh, the best thing you'll probably get out of it is making fun of us and how yeah, bad that's we are fine. the game. Um, oh, it'll be about me. It, uh, it's always gonna be about me. Possibly. Uh, who knows? Maybe we'll be surprised. Yeah. So, uh, we're just gonna go to Versus, and then we're just gonna, you know, kind talk of some around. stuff and see what happens. Right. Actually, oh, wait, no, go back. Uh, <laughs> go back. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, I did not mean to chip. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Match time. We'll start. I want it to be um, invincible. It does, it's not a thing, I guess, in this one. Oh, no, you're kidding me. All right, all that's good. fine. 99 seconds. I mean, that's more than enough that's time. That's fine. Okay, proceed to match. All right, cool. So, um, basically, game philosophy or theory or whatever, game design in general when it comes to a competitive sense, uh, one thing that you have to keep in mind uh, with... Uh, let start with the good. Yeah. Uh, the one thing that you have to keep in mind uh, specifically with competitive games that you normally don't have to keep in mind is the balance, right? Um because you can make your game imbalanced normally and it will work out as long as it has a perfect imbalance uh, because usually your only opponent is the AI. But with a game like this, on the other hand, two people are going head to head. So you need to make sure that that battlefield is fair no matter who they pick. If not, you have an imbalance in your game and people will complain and you will never hear the end of it. it the ever. complaints won't be so much about, hey, man, I really fought really hard in this battle and I just wasn't, I, I just wasn't good enough to. Wow, that character is completely overpowered. I'm Kenobi. never going to play against that. It, yeah, uh, it's a party foul to play that character. Yeah. So, um... In general, uh, so we're, we're in this. Okay, we're so we're in this fighting game, right? And uh, we have the basic functions of moving forward, back, all that jazz. Blocking in Street Fighter is very simple. All you have to do is press back. Uh, you cannot block in air, <laughs> as example, uh, but you can block up and down, like just from standing or crouching. Now, uh, basically, the object of the game is pretty obvious: beat the crap out of each other. And uh, whoever whoever lives it, or whoever you know uh, depletes the other person's health bar is the winner. The difference, however, is it's not that simple because a lot of people think that a fighting game is clearly about oh well done, you deserve that. Oh, I'm demonstrating what people think fighting games. Are. Oh, I thought you, you were get literally it? just. Do you get it? So he's button doing? mashing right now. Button mashing, a term. That maybe Chris put up on a screen. <laughs> Hashtag button mashing. Oh god, that's terrible. Uh, uh, yeah, where you just hit the buttons over and over again yep. with uh, no rhyme, reason, whatever. Anyway, so in this competitive game, it looks like we're playing a fighting game, but in reality, two really good players, when they go against each other, they're playing a strategy game. Because at that point, you know all of the moves. You know all your opponent's moves. You know everything that they could do. It's a matter of how it's used, utilized, implemented. So that is truthfully what you should, how you should look at a fighting game if you really want to get competitive about it. It's not about button mashing. It's not about learning all the moves because really learning the moves is just the, the basic milestone you take to, uh, to actually learn how to play the game, mm -hmm. right? Knowing how to do a Shoryuken or a Hadouken or a Fireball or Uppercut, whatever. Uh, learning how to do those is, is just, that's pennies. That's nothing. So. Damn it. You try. <laughs> so, uh, right. So, in in competitive gaming in general, um, you you're going to get a lot of terminology from your uh, your players um, that they're going to come up with their own terms, and there are a lot used for Street Fighter. And we're probably going to focus on that for uh, the next video. But right now, just kind of want to talk about competitive theory in general. Um, oh, nicely done. Thank you. So, hey. So in general, right now he's putting on the pressure, right? Ken is a, a very aggressive character, and Ryu is the very opposite. Um, granted, you can play them either way, but all of Ken's uh, moves are forward momentum, and that leads to his design as a as a player, as a character, that leads to his design as being aggressive, moving toward your opponent, and still being... Um, uh, action economy is not the correct word. What would you say? Um, 
um, uh, frame perfect, I guess, like sure, actually yeah. getting good, uh, being being efficient with your moves in general. That's yeah. what an aggressive character is about. Well, a defensive character is rather taking the beating but waiting for the right opportunity to punish your opponent. You're looking for that perfect counter to then turn the title battle in your favor. Um, That's how I look at it. We're just going to play it again and yeah. then we'll... So, in general, in competitive gaming, uh, terms, the basic terms that were used uh, that are, are not Street Fighter specific are terms like punishing. Um, so, a good term of punishing would be something like this, right? He did his move, I blocked it, and it slowed him down. He punished me for doing that move. I left myself open, and in turn, he made me feel like an idiot for <laughs> hitting me while I was wide open. Oh. oh. So that is punishing. Um, right now, he has what's called a lot of real estate. Um, this is a fun term that I like because it means that he has more of the map at his disposal. Why is this important? Because it means he can put the pressure on and he has a bigger escape avenue. Uh, and and that's that's very important if you're playing uh, aggression or defense. Um, if you're right in the middle of the screen, the, the, you can look at it as things are relatively even. Um, but in this regard, I'm gonna take back real estate from him. Or not. I'm just get sure you can in face. <laughs> I'm gonna get punished for doing this sure you can. See what there, there we go. use the turn. Yeah, look at that. So now he has less opportunity to get away. And uh, but it doesn't matter, right? So it's in in general, terms like that, like real estate and punishing, all of that is important to know as, a, as the strategy of the game goes, but it's only as important as you actually are good at the game. Uh, because if you're just simply uh, using, if you're just simply throwing out terminology and saying, oh, this would be a good move, but never actually implementing it or learning how to play the game, then you're just a theory fighter or a theory crafting. Mm -hmm. um, well, I, side note, uh, have been into fighting games for a long time. I am by no means a competitive like I go to turn I do not go to tournaments I don't really do it I just enjoy playing fighting games I especially enjoy playing fighting games with this guy because uh, my brother sort of burned it into my brain to try your best in every match you go into to a have fun but also understand that it is a competitive game so you want to make sure you do your best all the time um, and yeah. as such some of my friends have refused to play them with me uh, one of which is my best friend. Hi, Andrew. Uh, he <laughs> almost destroyed my controller one time because I, um, I, I got a little, I got a little ahead of myself. Um, but that's, that's sort of why. For those who are wondering, like, or, or thinking about getting into a fighting game, like, understand that yes, if you want to take it to the pro, like, scene and go into tournaments and such like that, you could totally do that and and, and totally make, make your own worth out of it. Um, but also understand, it's a game. You're meant, to, you're meant to have fun. Yes, it can get competitive, but at the end of the day, you're just kind of kicking your friend's ass in a virtual setting, and then it, once the virtual setting's over, then it's done. Kind of like how I'm doing right now. Or like how I was doing right now. Uh, oh, oh. Gosh. That combo, every time, I keep thinking that I can pull it off. Whew. Well done. Yeah. So... Um, yeah, basically, in it, it, I mean, we're talking very broadly in this case, but in terms of when it comes to competitive games, uh, we talked about balance, we talked about how those those, uh, those characters and stuff should feel. Let's, uh, one more time, just play these. Yeah. The next episode, I swear, we'll play different characters. Yeah. Uh, but in general... Uh, we talked about how Ken's more of an aggressive fighter, uh, or at least he has definitely become that in his last Street Fighter, uh, while Ryu is definitely more of a, a, a more defensive in comparison. Um, so it's it's really you can uh, you can cater characters to fit around your play style, and you'll know what your play style is. You know, you might already know it based off of just like what kind of player you are. But in general, it uh, you might not know what kind of play style you are until you have really worked with the game. Exactly, and a lot of the times that that just means spending time with each of the characters and understanding. You know what? I I really like the move set of this character, or you know what? This one moves around a lot faster, and I feel like I can control them a lot better and have a lot more real estate involved in the battles that I get into. Oh God damn! <laughs> <sighs> that was my foot. So, yeah. Mm. I've seen this guy rage out in ways like he just like... 
couldn't take it anymore. Oh, it was so good. No. What? Why did I do that? Punished. See, that's like eight comments right there. You're stupid. <laughs> yeah. Also, should be mentioned, both of us have not got to play Street Fighter uh, Five much because this video was released three days after the game was released. Yeah, and uh, I, I've had work. I've played a couple of the uh, the story mode battles. I've. Um, but what's weird is we were talking like. The conversation actually had came up tonight of, hey, we have time. Do we want to just record and do this? And immediately both of us jumped on it. Because this is something we've been waiting for for quite a long time. No. Uh-oh. Oh. No. Oh. <laughs> anyway. Next time on Game Devs Play Games, <laughs> we'll go over the terminology that you'll see commonly in fighting games like these. Uh, Question like, of the day. subscribe, please also vote if you want to keep this series going, because yes. otherwise we'll stop playing it. And I really don't want to stop playing We actually should have a question of the day. We should have a question of the day. Um, as far as uh, competitive design, I guess, goes, um, what do you think are some of the key different factors between competitive game design and just like solitary game design? I like it. Yeah? Yeah, that's good. I like that. Yeah, smart question. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe if you would like to, us to uh, have conversations with you guys about some game design stuff. We'll be around. We yeah, I guess do. we don't really have... We don't have a lot going on. Anyway, that's all for this episode. See you we'll later. see you next time. Hadouken. Don't, don't put that in, Chris. No, he's putting that in now. Come on! <laughs> sure he can! <laughs> Get it. Uh, shit. Street fighter pun. Street punter. <laughs> <laughs>